How do you find the number of moles and the molar mass of a solid acid when all you're given is how much acid in grams you used and the volume and concentration of the NaOH or base that was used to neutralize it? Well, it's actually pretty straightforward if you remember that the formula for molar mass can be grams of substance divided by how many moles of that substance you have. Unfortunately, we don't have the number of moles of acid, but we actually do have the number of moles of NaOH. We're told that there's 15 milliliters of 0 0.210 mole per liter. The number of moles is concentration times volume. The concentration was 0 0.21 moles per liter, and this needs to be in liters if you're going to multiply it by a unit that is per liter. 15 milliliters is 0 0.015 liters. Multiplying those two together gives you 0.21 times 0 0.015, 0 0.00315 moles. Now, if you're told how many protons each of the acids has, or the ratio with which the acid reacts with the base, you can use this number to figure out how many moles of acid you had. Sometimes it's more than this, sometimes it's less than this. And in this case, one mole of acid reacts with one mole of base. Maybe it's like HCl and NaOH. Who knows? We'll find out soon, maybe. That means that the number of moles of acid is the exact same because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Now you have the number of moles of acid. That can go in for little n over here. Be careful. You don't often want to use the number of moles of base in that formula unless you're explicitly told that it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And we did have the number of grams that it represented or that we weighed out to start with. It's that many grams. And we're distributing that mass around this small number of moles. You'll see once we do this division, we'll get an answer in grams per mole, 0 0.025 divided by the answer I got previously. That gives me 7.9365 grams per mole. And it, most teachers are going to ask you to use significant figures. This one's three sig figs. This one's three sig figs. That one's three sig figs. So that means I'm going to round this to 7.94. One, two, three sig figs. And that's followed by a number that's more than five. So there you go. 7.94 grams per mole. Uh, I don't actually know any acids that weigh that small of a thing. Maybe there's a typo in this question. It's not a valid answer. It's too small of a number. I was expecting the smallest number to be like uh, 20 or so. But hey, that's the way it is. You can calculate the number of moles of acid from the numbers of moles of base as long as you're told what the ratio is or if you can figure it out for yourself. And then you can use that number of moles to get the molar mass. Beautiful. Thanks for being with us and best of luck.